At any angle of incidence, beam is deviated from the original direction of uh, the incident beam, either towards or away from the normal, depending on the relative velocities of uh, ultrasound in the two media. The relationship between the angle of incidence and the angle of refraction is governed by Snell's law. Snell's law, uh, also known as Snell's Descartes law, uh, and the law of refraction is the formula used to describe the relationship between angles of incidence and refraction. When referring to light or other waves passing through a boundary between two different isotropic media such as water, glass and air. Snell's law states that the ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence and the refraction is equivalent to the ratio of phase velocity in the two media or equivalent to reciprocal uh, of the ratio of uh, indices of refraction. As you can see on this animation, we get the longitudinal wave and reflected wave and the refracted wave. So if we want to calculate the angle of refraction, we can easily deduct it using the ratio of the velocities in the, uh, in the two mediums. Let's take an example. If you want to probe given a 45 shear wave in steel, we must calculate the incident angle or the angle at which uh, we must ca uh, cut the, the perspex wedge. So we know that the compression speed of sound in perspex is 2730 meter per second and the shear wave speed of sound in steel is 3000 250 meter per second and the refracted angle we need is 45 degree so uh, using the Snell's law we get sine of the incident angle equals sine of 45 multiplied by the sound velocity in perspex which is 2730 divided by the speed of sound in steel which is 3,250 uh, meter per second. So we get sine of the incident angle equals to 0.59. And we can deduct that the angle of incidence is 36.44 degrees.